Christine Niles. Today's Wednesday, October 24th, 2018. Here are your latest church militant headlines. The Bishop of Memphis, Tennessee is being removed as head of his diocese. Church militant has obtained the contents of a confidential email from Archbishop Christophe Pierre, papal nuncio to the United States, ordering Bishop Martin Hawley to step down this Friday. His removal follows an investigation in June involving alleged financial irregularities and violations of canon law purportedly committed by Hawley and his vicar general, Monsignor Clement Machado. Ireland is one step closer to a new abortion law. On Tuesday, Irish lawmakers passed the Regulation of Termination of Pregnancy Bill, nicknamed the Health Bill, by an overwhelming majority. Now it's headed to committee where amendments and additions can be made. Abortion had been illegal in Ireland since 1983, when the Eighth Amendment was added to its constitution, protecting the right to life of the unborn. It was overturned by a referendum vote in May. The migrant caravan headed towards the United States has strong links to Democrats. The group of 7,000 refugees, mostly from Honduras, but also from Guatemala and El Salvador, crossed the Guatemalan border last week and are expected to reach the U.S. border by midterm elections. Organizers of the caravan are shown to have ties to George Soros' Open Societies Foundation, which funds U.S. Democrats and progressive movements around the world. President Trump has said he'll send troops to secure the border and cut off foreign aid to Honduras. The Gay Men's Chorus will be singing at a San Francisco parish. The group will perform Friday at the University of San Francisco's St. Ignatius Church, a Jesuit parish. The chorus was invited by Father Greg Bonfiglio without permission from Archbishop Salvatore Cordelioni. An archdiocesan spokesman tells Church Militant it's unclear how the archbishop will respond. A Missouri senator is hitting back after undercover video exposed her support for Planned Parenthood. Senator Claire McCaskill's campaign said Wednesday that an undercover investigation by Project Veritas may have violated Missouri law. Project Veritas recently aired footage revealing that Planned Parenthood secretly finances McCaskill's re-election campaign, a fact kept from pro-life Missouri Democrats. McCaskill's facing a tough re-election fight against pro-life Republican challenger Josh Hawley. I'm Christine Niles. Those are your church militant headlines. Please watch The Vortex today, where Michael talks about Satan at the Vatican. And check out the download, where the panel discusses Vigano's third testimony. God bless you.